which when you get to the full distances with the wedges that you start to see the benefit of the wedge system. That's the system I advise you to use where you go for 48 degrees with your pitching wedge and then scale up from that in terms of degrees you use. Now a 48 degree wedge for me with a full swing will go about 120 yards. As a professional I should know that. As a club golfer you should know your particular wedges distances. You start with a 48 degree wedge, it goes 120 yards for me, it might go 140 yards for you, it might only go 100 yards. Once you know it, you can use it. So with my pitching wedge here, I have 100 yards to that flag. I'm going to go ahead and make a full swing. Now of course, no surprise to anyone, it's gone 120 yards, so it's gone too far. If I go now to my, my gap wedge, 53 degree wedge, I tend to hit this one 100 yards. That's my yardage. So now I've got the club for the job. I don't have to make a partial swing. I just go ahead and make a full swing with my gap wedge. Exactly the club for the job. Now my lob wedge, my most lofted club, will go about 80 yards. Now if I use this club for the distance, I'm going to come up 20 yards short. Don't have to be Einstein for that, but it's important to know the distances I'm going to hit the ball. Once I understand the distances I can control with my wedges on full speed, I can start to cut back. For instance, if I've got 110 yards, I can ease up on my pitching wedge. If I've got 90 yards, I can ease up on my gap wedge. And if I've got 70 yards, I can ease up on my lob wedge. So I've covered a whole range of yardages there simply by using the wedge system.